Hello everyone, it's Kat. Thanks for joining me for another video today. Today I'm going to be talking about creating foiled flowers using my Heidi Swap Mink Machine, but you can use your Anna Griffin Mink Machine um, or a laminator as well. I bought these flower packs from um, I think Amazon or maybe Joanne.com. I've got a link to them in the description box um, to where you can buy them, but they come with 70 pieces yes 70 that's a lot of flower pieces and you just simply pop them out the way that I'm doing now and then you put some foil over them and run them through your machine and voila you have beautiful foiled flowers so I spent the day the other day making a bunch of flowers but this one was my favorite so I thought that I would just share this with you real quick so this is a short video about three minutes long um, and I'm just going to talk you through the process real quick so I've got some of this iridescent foil from Deco Foil, and it's one of my favorites. I actually carry it in my store um, at catscrappiness.com because I like it so much. And I'm putting it in on top of my little die cut flowers in my transfer folder so that I can send it through the mink machine. And I have the mini mink, which is a six inch machine. Now when I do you do this, I set my heat setting to four. And as you can tell, I've got this sped up a little bit so you don't have to watch it in real time go through the machine. <laughs> that would be a little boring. So while that's happening, I'm taking the bottom layer, which is just a white cardstock layer, and I'm using a pencil, which isn't working real well, so I'm going to switch to a paintbrush in a little bit. But I'm just bending the flower tips up and over. And here you go. Now you can see the beautiful foil. That iridescent foil is just absolutely stunning. I just love it. So now I, I've gotten smart and got a long paintbrush and that way you can do two petals at once. And I'm going to go ahead and fold the edges of each of my flowers up around the paintbrush so that it has a more 3D type look. And I'm going to do that with each of the layers of this flower. And it also, the kit comes with some, a package of brads. They're all gold, but I, and I didn't think gold would look good with silver until I put the little brad on the flower and it actually turned out really pretty. So I've learned recently that you can mix gold and silver and, and it looks really pretty. Um, one of my friends sent me a foiled Christmas card lately and she had gold and silver on hers and it looked really pretty. And so I've come to realize that it's okay to mix it. I was brought up thinking, oh, you don't mix gold and silver, you know, especially when you're wearing jewelry. <laughs> so anyway, I'm getting a little off topic here. As you can tell, I'm using the end of the paintbrush just to go ahead and fold up the flowers. And then when I'm done with that, I'm just going to put it together by sticking the brad. Each flower has a little hole in the middle, and I use my little die release tool to poke out the hole. And then I'm just going to go ahead and layer the flowers, alternating where the petals lay and then put it together with the flat or the um, brad <laughs> and there you go there's my pretty flower so I have a blog post showing how this is made and it has a supply list if you're interested I'll have a link below thanks for watching bye mm -hmm. 